Hello, Kenny Evans here. Well, another indoor video. So the topic of this video is how to give a woman your number properly. But before I get into the topic, I just want to let y'all know this channel is all about helping both men and women be the best they can be in all aspects of their lives. Health, wealth, dating, relationships, and mindset. All right? So thank you all for coming, new people. Thank you for coming, uh, returning viewers. I really appreciate it. If you have not already done so, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload some new videos. And, um, you know, share the video. All those help out with the algorithm. Share the video so we can get this video out to more people who could use it. And, of course, so we could help not only us, but our future generations make this world a better place. All right? Hold on. A little technical difficulty. To say that, like. I appreciate y'all. So, now we can get into this topic at hand. How to properly give a woman your number. Or how to give a woman your number properly. Excuse me. So obviously this is very important because men want to get with women and women want to get with men. Due to our society and really how men are more designed, men are generally the ones who approach women and who initiate the interaction. And therefore, you could either get a woman's number or give a woman's number. And I actually did a video here last week about that. You know what I mean? About um, why, how come you should give uh, a woman your number, you know? And I'll put that link in the description as well. So you can watch that. <clears throat> but you also have to know how to give a woman your number. Because it's not just any woman you're going to give your number. All right? Uh, so you have to be very particular and understand when is the right time and who is the right woman to give your number to because if not you could go through a lot of headache you could get ghosted or not even get a reply at all you know what i mean so definitely definitely understanding this is going to be very important of course i'm going to give you four things to look out for excuse me and then of course the bonus at the end so you definitely want to stay till the end for the bonus because the bonus is going to, is going to encapsulate everything perfectly so you know exactly when to give you know uh, a woman your number and how to do it properly all right so let us get into this boom first and foremost obviously when you see a woman you like you're gonna say hello see how she responds see how she says hello and in addition to that in addition to that you are going to ask a no oriented question. So I got this from Chris Voss. Um, his book, I remember now, Never Split the Difference. Chris Voss, no oriented questions. Um, because this is so powerful. And the reason I use this is because if you read uh, Chris Voss's book, Never Split the Difference, he goes into no oriented questions. They are a little bit lighter when it comes to um, getting what you want. Yes, oriented questions are a little bit more salesy. People feel like they're trying to get, they're about to get sold or there's some sort of catch, you know, and they're a little bit more hesitant as opposed to generally speaking, no oriented questions. They're a little bit more comfortable. Of course, you still lead the interaction where you want it to go. And it's just a, a little bit more, um, carefree way to move forward and ask a question that you want all right and a no oriented question i like to ask when it comes to um dealing with women is is this a bad time to talk again is this a bad time to talk i want to talk with you real quick is this a bad time to talk so obviously that does two things. Obviously, if they say yes, that means, you know, not necessarily the best time to talk, depending on the interaction. If they said uh, hello in a proper way, the decent vibe with that, or in the, you know, I find her attractive enough, I may give them my number. You know, just say, hey, give me a call whenever you would like to talk to me or give me a call whenever you'd like to meet up with me. 
meaning they're going to call me when they want to meet up with me now. It's all about the details and understanding what I want. You know, if they're down for it, cool. If not, cool. But I know they want to meet up with me. You know what I mean? And if they say no, obviously it means there is a good thing. You know, it's not a bad time to talk. We can move forward with the interaction. And it's a light way of asking, hey, would you like to talk with me, essentially? All right? So that is why no oriented questions are so powerful because it's so light, it's so carefree. You know, people who don't understand what it is and what it's all about will just answer very casually. You know what I mean? And you know, it's a very clear cut way to know if a girl is interested or not. All right. So next, number two, you would ask the name test. You do the name test. And this is very popular uh, from Corey Wayne, Coach Corey Wayne on YouTube. I got that from him. So the reason this is so popular is because if somebody has a high enough interest in you, they're going to want to know your name. If they have some sort of concern or care for you, they're going to want to know your name. Because, of course, they are going to want to keep you in mind. And obviously, the more details they get about you, the more they'll be able to keep you in mind. But on the opposite end, if they don't want to know your name, generally it means they don't care about you. It doesn't mean you can't it maybe get something immediate. If you're looking for a hookup or something, you could get a quick hookup. Because you hear it all the time. People who hook up with people who don't, they don't know their names. You know, but in terms of interest and in something long term, you know, um, and even hookup, it could be a little dicey. You better have, she better be super attracted to you, high sexual attraction, you know. So generally speaking, for me, um, if somebody fails the name test, meaning I ask their name, they tell me their name, but they don't ask their name they don't ask for my name back that is a failed name test generally i leave them alone but a past name test is obviously i ask their name they tell me and then they ask for my name back and i tell them all right and if they do that we move forward with the interaction and again that's just another sign of interest of high interest you know uh, because, again, if they want to know their name, it shows they have some sort of interest or care or concern for you, you know. So, number three. Third thing to look for. Is the interaction, is there a good vibe during the interaction or is the interaction going well? All right. From the high, is she smiling at you? Is she looking at you? Is she constantly maintaining eye contact? She got a little smile on her face. Is she answering your questions uh, immediately and with enthusiasm? You know, um, maybe she's checking you out. Is she receptive to your flirting? Maybe your compliment. Did she say thank you? Did she smile? Like, was there a good vibe during the interaction? All right. You know, you would think this is a very easy one, but you would be surprised how many guys will deal with women who are not even looking at them, giving them one word answers, you know, um, turning away, you know what I mean, <laughs> or they'll walk away and they'll continue to follow them, you know, and it's like, how many clues, how many red flags do you need to have before you understand that this woman is not interested in you? <laughs> All right. So, are is there a good interaction, good vibe? All right. That is crucial. Very, very crucial. All right. So, thank y'all for making it this far to the video. Again, if you have not already done so, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button so you'll be notified for whenever I upload some new videos. And of course, share the video so we can get this video to more people who could use this information. So we can make this world a more positive, loving place, not only for us, but our future generations. All right, thank you. Let's move on with the video. <clears throat> so, the fourth thing to look out for on to how to properly uh, give a woman your number or how to give your woman a number, how to give a woman your number properly is you must ask for what you want initially. Granted, you got through the the um, 
no oriented question. You got through the name test. There's a positive interaction during the vibe. Now, if you want to go on a date, set up a date, or if you want to get a hookup or ask for friends with benefits, whatever you want, ask for it then. Don't set something up in the future, of course, unless you're looking for a date. Ideally, you want to get a date initially, and if you can't, then you set up for a date for a specific time, you know, and if that doesn't work, then you give them the number, say, hey, call me when you'd like to get a date. Same with hookups or friends with benefits. Unless you're doing like friends with benefits, you can set something up. And then again, if they say, oh, well, I'm not really looking for that right now, say give them your number and tell them to call you when they'd like to meet up. And same with if you're looking to hook up immediately. If they say, you got time right now to hook up, they're not doing it right now, say set up a time uh, to hook up. If they say, oh, yeah, I can't really figure anything out, then you give them the number, say give me a call when you're ready to hook up. All right? So that's the process. Go for what you want immediately. If it's not right now, it's not a good time. Uh, then you set up a date. And if they don't have any clear schedule, then, or if they're not looking for it right now, then finally you give them your number. All right. That is the process. That is how you do it. And that's how you get the best opportunity for women who are at high interest to call you back. All right. And you never know when it will be. You never know when it will be. But ideally, if they have a high enough interest, it will be soon. Sooner rather than later. All right. So now we've made it to the end. We got the bonus. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for making it this far. Sticking to the end for the bonus with me. And it is going to encapsulate everything. It's very important. It really, really is. It's very, very, very important. And the bonus is ideally... You give your number to women who deserve it, who had, who obviously there was a good vibe, good interaction, they passed the name test, they answered the no inter oriented question, you know what I mean? Um, everything went well. There was just an overall good energy. You give your number to those women, all right? It is very important. You can't just give your number out to all women. Because you just don't want to waste your time. You want to give your your number out to women who will show who the interaction is good and positive. It doesn't mean they will call you. Again, it doesn't mean they will call you, but they have a higher chance of calling you. All right. So that is all I got for y'all. I appreciate y'all sticking with me to the end of this video. Hopefully y'all learned a lot. Definitely apply what you learned and you will definitely get some better results than you're already getting now. I promise you that. All right. So I appreciate y'all sticking with me to the end. Definitely let me know if you liked my list. Let me know if you dislike my list. Let me know if you think I hit everything on. Um, let me know if you think I missed something. Let me know respectfully in the comments for sure. All right. Um, outside of that, definitely like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload some new videos. Share the video so we can get this video out to more people who can use the information so we can make this world a better place for us and our future generations. All right, and of course, if you found value in the video, donations are always very much appreciated. They always are. Any little bit counts, they keep me motivated. You know what I mean? Um, they help me. They're going to help me get better, higher quality uh, uh, equipment. You know what I mean? But definitely donations are always very much appreciated if you found value in the video. All right. And of course, let me know what other topics you want to talk about. Sure, this channel was made by me, but I make the channel for you. So whatever you want to know, whatever you want to talk about, let me know. And I will definitely do my best to make a video for you. Okay, so thank y'all again for being here. I definitely hope to see y'all next week. Y'all stay safe and always remember the strongest person is the average person.